going to tell you what I really think of Donald Trump. This man is a pathological liar. He doesn't know the difference between truth and lies. He lies practically every word that comes out of his mouth. And in a pattern that I think is straight out of a psychology textbook, his response is to accuse everybody else of lying. He accuses everybody on that debate stage of lying. And it's simply a mindless yell. Whatever he does, he accuses everyone else of doing. The man ca cannot tell the truth, but he combines it with being a narcissist. A narcissist at a level I don't think this country's ever seen. Think about the next five years. The boasting, the pathological lying, the picking up the National Enquirer and accusing people of killing JFK, the bullying. Think about your kids coming back and emulating this. For people in Indiana who long for a day when we were nice to each other, when we treated people with respect, when we didn't engage in sleaze and lies, and I would note one of the lies he engages in, listen, Donald Trump is a serial philanderer. Both furious and heartbroken at the same time. I'm furious at what we saw, but I'm also heartbroken for the rule of law. I'm heartbroken for our justice system. The stakes are giving control of the party of Lincoln and Reagan, of the conservative movement, and ultimately of the United States over to a con artist. That will not happen. I make this promise to you today. I will do whatever it takes. I will campaign as long as it takes. I will stay in this race as long as it takes. <laughs> Donald Trump, a con artist, will never get control of this party. And the time has come for you. I know some of your friends have bought into this. Listen, friends, don't let friends vote for con artists. <laughs> it is time to open our eyes. It is time to open our eyes. We cannot allow a con artist to get access to the nuclear codes of the United States of America. It's a big fraud. And it's time to open our eyes. And we will in the days and weeks to come. I'm confident. This is the most outrageous travesty I've ever seen. And the problem here is Democrats have crossed this line. They have crossed the line in which now the court system is a political weapon. And it's going to be very hard for it not to come back the other way. I don't want that. I heard you saying that earlier in the show. But I think we need to understand that they've crossed the line now and let a genie out of a bottle. It's going to be hard to put back in place.